So let's go ahead and start off with the very first riff that I wrote for this particular demo. When I first started playing around with the Soldano, I kind of wanted to stretch myself by adding in a melodic element, sort of like the band Carnival. So I started off with this very first riff. Let's go ahead and listen to it in solo. All of this demo was recorded on my Hoppus Magician 7 string as well. So let's go ahead and break down the approach to dialing in this tone. I used the crunch channel. You see I dialed in the tone a little bit on the tone stack, boosted the normal preamp up to about 6. I used the overdrive 2 to brighten my signal and boost it into the head just a little bit. There's this really nice switch that'll give you a high shelf boost as well. Now as I was dialing it into the mix, I used the built-in EQ to take out a little bit of the lows and boost around 1 and 2 kilohertz. I took down 4 and 8 kilohertz because I found that presence area was just a little bit too ringy. Uh, then I went with a single dynamic 57 for my impulse responses. And as I was dialing this into the mix, I used the compressor so that way the notes had enough sustain to be heard throughout the entire rest of the instrumentation. And this is a really big thing, especially for cleaner guitars. These pickups are passive pickups, so they don't have a ton of sustain like active pickups do. So the compressor was definitely necessary. Let's go ahead and listen to the difference of the compressor on and off and hear how the sustain is changed by using the compressor. So you can hear without the compressor there, the kind of foundation of the song goes away. The chords are being held out for a particularly long amount of time, so the compressor is just there to make sure that it's still present in the mix as they decay out. And another thing you're definitely going to hear after the compressor is engaged is I have the volume level boosting out of this just slightly, so that way I get some added saturation and distortion from the head. Now after I had written that very first riff, I knew I wanted to have an intro that went just before it, so I thought I would actually take a page out of Carnival's book and have the drums by itself with sort of a bass synth uh, over top of it. So I went with the Pendulate plugin and put the Soldano on top of that. Let's go ahead and listen to this preset I'm calling Synth Crisper. So you can hear that I'm using the crunch channel for a little bit of saturation, I'm kind of brightening up the signal just a little bit, and I'm using the chorus to kind of give it additional dynamics of that kind of rolling effect. I'll go ahead and play this again and I'll turn on and off the section so that way you can hear how each one is affecting the signal. Let's take a look at the very first lead. It's more of a chordal layer on top of the original guitar riff. Again, I went with the crunch channel and made a couple of adjustments to the tone stack and various other controls. I used the overdrive one because this one was a little bit warmer of a tone. The chorus as well is engaged to kind of give it more of an ethereal feel. And I went with the compressor as well because I needed that sustain to hold out throughout the rest of the instrumentation. <laughs>
And moving on to the more traditional metal tone, I used the overdrive channel. You can see that I changed the tone stack and the preamp a little bit. I used the overdrive one pedal to boost the signal into the head. I brightened up the tone a little bit. And then I used the Dynamic 57 and the Condenser 414 for my impulse responses. Now, originally I was about to go with the Dynamic 57 by itself, but I found that the presence area was poking out of my mix just a little bit too much. So I turned on the Condenser 414 to round off that presence area. You'll see that the volume level has been dropped because I didn't need it to be so warm. I just needed a little bit of that presence to be compensated. So I'm going to turn the Condenser 414 on and off so you can hear how this is affecting that high end of my guitar signal. You can hear with that condenser 414 off, it just made it a little bit too scratchy. It was just poking out of the mix just a little bit too much for my taste. With that condenser 414, it rounds it off. It really kind of pushes it back into the mix, makes everything gel a little bit better. And as we get to the final solo section, I really love using layers that fill out the space, are a little bit more ethereal. So I went with this particular track. Let's go ahead and listen to it by itself without any of the delay or reverb effects on it. So then to give it that ethereal feel, I turn on the chorus pedal and then I'll engage the delay and the reverb as well. Now let's go ahead and listen to that in context. It's kind of funny because at first when I play the track, and everything is in the mix, you almost don't even notice that layer. And then I take it out and that space is then sort of a vacuum. It's not really being filled by anything anymore. So you can then hear it when I put it back in the mix that much louder. And then we finally get to the lead channel, which I just went with a simple setup, the overdrive channel, I kind of boosted the tone knobs as well as the treble knob. I didn't use any overdrive on this one because I had enough compression, enough everything else from the distortion from the overdrive channel itself. For the impulse responses, I went with the Dynamic 57 and the Ribbon 121. I wanted this to be kind of warm and sit on top of the rest of the mix. And then the delay and the reverb are on just to give it that space. And then I adjusted the EQ so that way it would fit my mix a little bit better as well. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited to use in this particular plugin. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Links to download the 14 day free trial of the Soldano SL100, as well as the presets that I broke down during this video will be in the description down below. While you're there, go ahead and leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload new content to this channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.